Joining us now is Brayden. Brayden, great to see you. So many new movies out at the moment, but what is your top pick? Because I know you're fussy. No, I am got? a bit fussy, yeah, I do. You'll learn this. I'm not oh. so big into the action or the sci-fi, but anything that's English and got a bit of period piece to it, I love. I love sci-fi. We're not going to get well, on. The, no, 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 this is fine. <laughs> it's called Yin and Yang. That's why we're here. Right. Hey, um, this film I've got is called The Carer, and it, this storyline might seem fairly similar to you. Grumpy old guy or grumpy person that needs some help from a carer, doesn't want the help, and then eventually things flip over and it all comes right. So like you before me, except for yeah. a good looking. Well, yeah. So what you've got here is Sir Michael Gifford's an old actor. You've got a young girl who wants desperately to be an actor, so she kind of gets in thinking that she, you know, that might help her in some way. And they become unlikely sort of companions. Have a wee look at this. Hiring somebody to care about me. Caring for you. It's not the same thing. We could never hope to pay anyone to care about you. Ooh. I am taught he's difficult. No, no, that's not right. It's bloody impossible. You have absolutely no chance of making it on the stage here. Being an actor is not something you do. It's something you are. I want you out. Out of the house, out of my father's life. My father's very sorry not to be here in person tonight. I want you to go with me to the ceremony. Completely contrary to our expectations, I have a last surprise to announce. Well, you're some class yeah. actors there. Yeah, absolutely. And while it might seem a little bit predictable, I think it's a formula that works. Does the daughter get nicer? She just seems a little bit mean. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, OK. <laughs> we need a villain. <laughs> There's always got to be that person. Um, I quite like the idea of this one, too. You've got Jake Gyllenhaal, Naomi Watts, in this film called Demolition. And a guy's... Um, it it kind of plays it down in the trailer that, that he's in a car accident with his wife. And he takes his frustration out on the people at the other end of the vending machine company <laughs> by writing them letters. It's a little bit odd in, in the, the premise, but you'll kind of see what they're going for here. Have a look at this. I put five quarters in your machine and proceeded to push B2, which should have given me peanut M&Ms. Regrettably, it did not. I found this upsetting as I was very hungry, and also my wife had died 10 minutes earlier. Repairing the human heart is like repairing an automobile. You have to take everything apart. In regards to your complaint letters, there's been four so far. Do you have anyone to talk to? For real right now? There's some random guy eating in our house. The man's wife just died. Have some compassion. What are we doing again? We're taking apart my marriage. Wow. Yeah, that looks good. And quite yeah. lovely too, because in New Zealand there has been that case of the um, the Alexandra guy who took yeah. a vending machine to take out his frustrations yeah. after it didn't pay out. So yeah. I can see how you can get a good movie yeah. out of that. Yeah. Uh, in terms of downloads, these are the top three that are being watched this week. And I know that you've seen this one, Mike. London has fallen. Yeah, I didn't hear much about it, but boy, I loved it from woe to go. It held me the whole movie. But for the yeah. mum, Jill Butler, that's the real reason you're watching <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Hello. We're all there for different reasons. I'm probably there for the same reason, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, also, uh, my big fat Greek wedding too. I'm a sceptic when it comes to, to follow-ups. I kind of go, oh, really? Do we need a second one? Thinking mm. back to the future. Mm. Uh, but you know what? It's well worth it. On a rainy Sunday afternoon, downloading that, you won't, you, you know, you won't be disappointed with that for a good laugh. Nice. In this one, 13 Hours of Secret Soldiers of Benghazi is, is based on a true story. And this is the most downloaded film on the Apple platform at the moment. So, um, a lot of people, you know, people are, are speaking with, with their downloads, yeah. and I think based on that, it's well worth checking that one Netflix, too. That's Ben Affleck, is it? Uh, the... That is a very good question. That I think it is, yeah. 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 <laughs> it is. It is. It's yeah. still on the list. I'm going, you know what, it's it's not really my genre, mm. but I'm, I'm starting to go, so many people are watching this, it's one of those ones and I think a, we have to give in. He's a little bit of a goober too, so that, yeah. you know, you can't separate the actor from the guy. <laughs> Just oh, my opinion. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, and that's good because I do, you know, over the weekend, I, you know, you end up scrolling through the, the Apple and downloads yeah. and you don't know what to pick, yeah. but if that's number one, then that's a good suggestion. Once upon a time we used to spend an hour in the DVD oh, store going, what will I get? And now you sit there on Netflix just going, <laughs> what am I going to watch? Yeah, we don't <laughs> nice even have work. them anymore, do we? OK, um, thanks very much, no uh, Brayden. Uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow to see what's on over the weekend.